and in the affidavit that was circulated yesterday. I've looked at the ruling of Justice Nzioka in civil suit number 551 of 2011, and Justice Nzioka ruled that for a signature to be deemed and certified as forged, a document examiner's report must be produced. End of quote. I want to ask the governor, in the case of allegations of forgery, who bears the burden of proof? Number two, a lot of HR issues have been brought up. Could the governor tell the Senate what measures she has undertaken since she took office? Can the governor tell us whether the 500 million expenditure or growth in expenditure in the 2022-2023 financial year that was cited by the assembly was approved in the budget and whether the assembly approved it. And finally, Mr. Speaker, people are dancing on the grave of Sniper. And Mr. Speaker, it is unfortunate. Can the governor tell us whether she's a suspect, whether she's, uh, she's been taken to court, whether she's part of those who have been taken to court on suspicion or allegations of killing Sniper? Because we cannot use that innocent boy to settle political scores, and Mr. Speaker, it's unfortunate that all parties are choosing to dance on the grave of Sniper. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Governor. Thank you, Speaker. For the case of being a suspect, that case, I'm not a suspect. I did not even record a statement with the police. They came, did the investigations, and they left. For the issue of 2023 uh, approval, the approval for this year, the assembly has not approved. We, are, we still have issues with the budget. The Waziri for Finance uh, elaborated about the issue we have with the assembly. And for the document that leader Kiome said it was forgery, I think the forensic investigation should take course and give us an answer for, because I'm not a forensic investigator. Neither this house I don't think this house has the powers to, to, to know if the document is forged or not, unless we take to the examiner. Senator Abbas. Thank you, Honorable Senator. I think uh, uh, our Excellency the Governor has said that uh, the two Committee of Revolution tried to intervene the issue of, between her and this, the Assembly. That's very true. However, there was no one time, I want to put the record uh, straight, there was no one time the Deputy Speaker of this uh, House uh, said that we cannot go to Meru or have a reconciliation with anybody. Uh, we did meet, a team went there, led by the vice chair of the Committee of Revolution and Intergovernmental Relations. Um, they met, Her Excellency, 